my name is Dana Grud. I'm an associate professor uh, in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, University of Wisconsin Medicine. I have an affiliate position in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. And I'm also the director of the Wisconsin Applied Computing Center. In my field in computer engineering, uh, parallel computing is going to be what will take us to the next level. And that's why I started to offer this course, an introduction to high performance computing for engineers and scientists. I wanted to become a Kuda Teaching Center because back then I realized that there's a lot of potential to this. In the beginning it was an experimental course because my department was not sure like, you know, what's the deal with this course in mechanical engineering. But then it became more and more uh, cross-disciplinary and just like three months ago or so, it was cross-listed in computer science and it was cross-listed in electrical and computer engineering, uh, in uh, engineering physics. So there were several departments that realized that it's a useful course and, uh, and basically a lot of people stand to benefit of this because that's where the future is. There are students from about like 11 departments that last time took the course and it's, it's just great to see like, you know, these guys looking at how, how the heart is working and trying to visualize that in real time. And now here is another guy looking at basically how some, some particles uh, penetrate material in material science like radiation and, and such. And then you have people looking at fluid dynamics, people looking at how combustion happens in, a, in an engine. It's a lot of uh, interesting research and I really like to be part of that. And I believe that in some small part, I make a contribution to, to their long-term goals. And that's very, very worthy. Just like back in the day, science was exclusively done through experiment where people build devices to measure stuff in like a telescope or something. And it, having a good telescope revolutionized basically how people thought about about uh, astronomy and cosmos and, and such. In time, more and more, we, we see computation starting to play the same role where the computer becomes a telescope of you know, the next decade and will carry out scientific investigation through computing. Uh, it will happen, it will take some time, and it will require people from like different fields, like people from computer science, talking with people from engineering and engineers understanding more about hardware architecture and such. So there should be like a dialogue going back and forth. But more and more, I think that the computer will play uh, a, a more relevant role in how people do science. And that's very exciting. And it's going to be faster and it's going to be cheaper. Um, and I think that it's just a matter of time.